So you two guys, here we are, Harbor Town hole eight, par four. Same hole we just got. So we get with our wind. The tailwind, we're gonna be able to definitely, I think I can get a cruiser up to my big, up to my big foot. So I'm gonna just kind of hold the left edge a little bit more with this one. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I great ball to the right. I knew I could miss to the right. I couldn't miss to the left. So I'm just being a little bit quick with my timing just to make sure I don't put myself into too much of a problem. With the cruise R, you can see we get a little bit of that side spin. And you can see this pin's not even the one in the back. So I do expect to be able to get Bigfoot there. And here you can see we're just going to kind of roll, gently roll this up here. So I think that's probably a good land spot I, I do think it's probably gonna roll out pretty well so we're just gonna kind of focus on this spot 4.8 we're just kind of I'll typically go a little bit under three rings so I'm pointing somewhere in here just kind of focusing on a spot to pull Ultimate shot. And I do think this is definitely going to get to the pin. You know, that little bit of tailwind helps it to uh, roll out. So even if you see that ball got a little bit short, you can see that it's going to stretch out in those tailwinds. And I just went too much rings. It wasn't that much. It was, you know, just a, just a hair. A couple grains of grass <clears throat> on that adjustment. So some good opportunities to really be able to make it. You can see the way that you have to play a hole is very dependent. You know, am I getting a tailwind? Am I getting a headwind? Um, you know, sometimes you might have to hit wood into that one. Sometimes you might be able to get the big foot. Really just going to depend. If I already got a headwind on that second one, we might have... Uh... Oh, wow. And so look at this headwind. So you guys already saw me play this one. I'm going to play this one very differently because of the headwind. I'm thinking much more like three. Three top spin here, land right on the front of the green, kind of like this. And a little bit over one on the ring adjustment. So I'm gonna pull up to about here. You see opponent going in there. He definitely caught his ultimate shot. I don't know what his distance control is. Oh no, this is great. Run out, don't break too much. Ooh, so it looks like even though it said great, it still did hold its line true because there's no way that um, that really deflected off. So that means my timing was almost instant. It was just outside that circle. As you can see, I was just able to come in there under a yard and pick up that wind still. So, and knowing how much topspin I need to use versus backspin, if it's a tail, you know, you might kind of change the way that you play it depending on the wind. So those are the, always the things that you want to be thinking about. And let's just see, and that's a, that's a good card, you know, 20. Might not be the card that I wanted because, you know, I could have got some greens. I could have got even some yellows. And, you know, you might even unlock, you might even unlock fusion that way. So you, ju you just never know. And you can see the ball that I got. I, what was it one of the common ones? <clears throat> but I know you can get... You know, you can get some of those premium balls if you're really grinding out those pin bags. You know, half the time you might get them. So something to think about. Uh, good luck out there. I'll see you guys on the next hole momentarily.